How do, my friends? This is an Iron Warriors tutorial. First, I'm going to base the model with gesso. Because I'm not sure everyone is aware of gesso. Here I am, just smashing gesso onto a Mark III Space Marine. Gesso is basically uh, an artist primer. If you've seen Bob Ross, you know that he uses it because he'll say, we just cover this in gesso. It shrinks as it dries, and that's why you can be quite, uh, shall we say, inaccurate with its application. It will shrink as it dries. So I'll speed this up a little bit, and then we can watch it dry. Ooh. That was How Exciting by Revolution Void, used again for its delightfully ironic title. So, first base coat. You saw that was gunmetal, doesn't matter if it's Vallejo or not really. Gunmetal is gunmetal, it's like an irony colour. Best advice here is to, as ever, apply thin coats. The difficulty for me painting is that because it's a metallic paint and because I paint obviously under lights anyway but especially under lights for the purposes of the recording it's very difficult for me to see the highlights um, but that stage is later anyway. It's going to be a wash after this but uh, we can carry on what uh, listening to How Exciting by Revolution Vide. Right. Right, now that that's done, you can see I've base painted the weapons. The weapons are not part of this tutorial. <laughs> just because you just paint weapons however you want. Uh, I'm going to mix one part of Agrax Earthshade and one part of Nuln Oil. Or Bada Black and Devlan Mud. If you have those. If you have Devlan Mud, you're lucky. Because it was so key. I still have some and I just don't use it. Anyway, wash it all over. I you see this here. This is me. I'm mixing it off camera like a noob. I should have had it ready and then displayed what I was going to do. I've learned my lesson. It won't happen next time. Anyway, glob it on. 
don't go mental. So wick it off with the with the brush if it's too much because you don't want it to pull too much because it will go horrible. But uh, put a sensible coat on. That comes with experience, really. But if in doubt, less is more. Speed it up again. Or just cut. <laughs> Same difference, isn't it? Anyway, I've got the gunmetal back. Reason being that now we've got the wash applied. We've got that lovely, dirty, Iron Warriors feel. And the metallics are going to basically mean that we can just highlight with the base coat. There really isn't a need for a tabletop standard anyway. Because if you were going for some sort of high art style, you'd probably do them all NMM. And I might do a tutorial on that in the future. But for now, just highlighting with the base coat. As I said before, a bit difficult when there's light shining all over it because you just can't see what you've done. But that's a different matter for you. Speed it up. Basically done. Now you just need the chevrons. Don't pull out some black for this. This, as I've said before, try not to go to black all the time. Uh, I went with heavy uh, grey. I think it's called no medium heavy black grey from Vallejo to put the stripes in. Now putting the stripes in here was made easier by the rivets on the uh, on the uh, pauldron. What I did was basically draw a, a, a diagonal line between the rivets on the top and the rivets on the bottom and you'll see it works out reasonably well the only thing you can really do with this is to do your best and um, try and keep as steady a hand as possible again it's difficult when I'm working around cameras and things but I think um, it's a very quick process as you'll see here I'll speed it up but it is, it is quite quick and it keeps it simple and it's, again good quality effects for the tabletop you can apply the same sort of logic anywhere it's the type of thing that people get phased by when they come to paint something like this but once you've done it two or three times it really won't bother you and you can always clean it up later as well you'll see I clean it up in a few times everyone makes mistakes when they're painting their models alright I'm going to speed it up you'll see I do the eyes I've painted his um, eye socket silver go over them a bit of yellow and then a bit of yellow ink which I also apply to the yellow on the pauldrons done easy mode next is the white scars don't forget to like and subscribe guys I'll speed up to the finish so you can see how he looks at the end boy